Let's use the return address and address block we've created in the previous video and do a basic mail merge with envelopes. Click the Mailings tab. You might think the next step is to click Envelopes. The Envelopes tool is for single envelopes or copies, like a stack of envelopes with the same return address. The same is true for the Labels tool. If you want to mail merge with envelopes, click Start Mail Merge. And in the drop-down box, select Envelopes. But first notice the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. It's better to learn the sequence of steps without relying on the wizard. But the wizard is always there and it will show you options with each step that you might not think of. For now, let's review the mail merge sequence. Click Start Mail Merge and select a document. Next, click Recipients List and navigate to your customer list. Finally, you finish and merge, print and save the merged documents for future use. Click Start Mail Merge and Envelopes. The Envelopes Options box appears with Envelope and Print Option tabs. We've already covered these options. When you click OK, an envelope appears with our saved return address in the corner. Click Recipients List and use Existing List. I place my Excel customer list on the desktop for easy access. Click Open, OK, and now we've linked the customer list. Next we insert the address block by clicking in the lower half of the envelope in the middle. Remember, we've already set up the address blocks format. Click on Print Preview. Now you can drag the box around and you can edit the fonts. For example, the Postal Service recommends the customer's address be all caps. So highlight the address and right click. Click Font. Now you can edit all the font details. Select Bold 16 point and all caps as recommended by the post office. Click OK and now you see a bolder client address. Finally, to complete the mail merge, click on Finish and Merge. This step makes the merge permanent. Now you can print the envelopes and save the document, which will include the link to this customer list. So if later you add customers to your list and then open the document, the new customers will appear. However, you could also open the document and link to a different list altogether and save under a different file name. If you do a lot of envelopes, HP has two envelope feeders which hold 75 envelopes and cost about $265 each. They attach to a series of HP printers. 
the least expensive starts around $1,200. Next we'll practice merging with a letter from the templates in Word.